Okay. Fuck off! We just saw someone Kool-Aid themselves with a little 45. That's fucking unfortunate. Rest in peace. Okay, tendril, tendril, tendril. Where the fuck? Wait, is it even in here? No, it's not. What the fuck? Why am I here? Alright. That's the central nexus. Bunk. So we did that one. What is there? All right, come on here. Choppy, choppy. Stay there. Okay, so now we're... The exact quarters. Awesome. How many health packs? I have none. Okay, now we're... We're gonna go back and actually grab some, cause fuck that! I'm not doing that without any health packs. I have some money. there was an actual place that I can actually, you know, build. That would be nice. How much want to bet, like, uh, there was, like, some schematics there, but and I just, like, passed on those? That'd be really unfortunate, but, it's like, I don't care. I'm not dealing with a fucking hunter. Like, screw that shit. That is it. Fancy shit here. Locked. Nice. You are also locked. See shareholder pamphlet 202. Please do not distribute. What is planet cracking? 
Planet Kraken is, quite literally, the dismantling of planets and moods on a macro scale by dedicated vessels known as Planet Crackers. Entire worlds are fractured with gravity tethers to reveal the rich seams of val valuable minerals contained inside. These fractured pieces of debris are mined, processed, and then shipped to their destination. You may have read environmentalist reports claiming the destruction of a planet can destroy an entire solar system due to the disruption of the gravitational forces that hold each celestial object in orbit. Some of the wilder reports claim that this causes the whole system to spin out of control, or planets to smash into each other. We would direct concerned investors to the article Safe and Sustainable, CEC Pledge to the Health of Our Galaxy, for a detailed breakdown of the truths about planet cracking. The shorter answer is, planet cracking is perfectly safe and provides essential service to Earth and the colonies. Out of over three dozen planet cracks, only one operation has met with less than optimal results. Critics often cite the Wanat disaster 11 years ago, wherein a planet cracker, three supply ships, and a colony were lost due to a gravity tether failure. They rarely mention that since that time. CEC has strengthened relations with our manufacturers, committed to regular training, crew training seminars, and implemented safety protocols to ensure a disaster of that magnitude can never happen again. Before each planet crack, the candidate worlds are carefully chosen for the mineral content, net worth, and safety of which they can be dismantled. Planet crackers are also invaluable for harvesting asteroids and rogue planetoids, which present a deadly risk to expensive infrastructure and installations. Jesus Christ, there's a lot for our shield horses things. It makes sense though. Planet cracking, a detailed breakdown. Planet cracking is a lengthy process typically spanning from three to five years. Generally, the first year is spent prospecting and setting up planet side colony. To minimize losses, these colonies are intentionally a light outlay in terms of infrastructure. The next 18 months involve tectonic excavation, gravity tether maintenance, and related planet side activities. The planet cracker arrives between the 2.5 and the 3 year mark, depending on the progress of the excavation. Is excavation? Yeah, uh, for some reason I didn't, I don't know. Once the ship is in orbit, pre preparations for tectonic chunk extraction begins. This takes approximately one week. The removal of excavated chunk from the planet into a stabilized geosynchronous orbit usually takes about a day, or 24 standard hours. During this process, billions of tons of debris break off from the underside of the chunk, creating an instant asteroid ring around the planet. While the floating debris is extremely dangerous, Planet Cracker ships have an excellent asteroid defense system, also known as ADS, to keep the ship and crew safe from harm. For more information about our propriety ADS technology, please see company literature. Oh my god, there's so much crap! I guess that's kind of what I have to do. Alright. This process is repeated until the entire planetary body has been broken up in process. Some little bodies, such as asteroids, are drawn into the mining bays and processed directly, using direct processing beams to reduce waste. As you can see, the profit margins of planet cracking vastly outweigh solely planet-side operations, which may not be profitable for decades or more, and represent massive outlays in terms of personnel, infrastructure, equipment, and insurance costs. About us. CEC, also known as the Concordance Extraction Corporation, is the largest solar mining and extraction company in the Earth colonies, and the fifth largest interstellar company in terms of market capital. Since our founding, we have become a powerhouse of industrial might and major cross-system employer. With a generous budget allocated to election spending, the CC has always been maintained a strong market position and secure political support thanks to our dedicated lobbying bureau. I always love the fact when it's just like, oh wow, why the fuck would they say this? But it's like, this is legitimately how shareholders would actually get that information. Because it essentially shows, yeah, if we need to, we can stabilize our shit, no problem. Like, that's literally the whole, that's the whole reason why that's a thing. It sucks, but it's like, that's just the reality of the situation. CEC owns over 400 deep space vehicles, including five planet crackers within the U with the USG Ishimura as our flagship. CEC pioneered the scan and catch technique, which is now a staple of asteroid mining and was the first to implement shock point drives for commercial use. We are the largest supplier of precious me metals to commercial interests across inhabited space. We take your financial security and well-being of our employees seriously. When you invest in CEC, you're investing in a future we can all believe in. CEC, 
powering humanity into the future. Ah, fucking hell! So much talking. Oh. Huh. Okay. Um. That's nice. Okay. Oh. All right. To Captain B. Matthias from Unidentified Sender. Subject, confidential. Fleet position confirmed. To, ben to Captain Benjamin Matthias. Referencing our pre-departure discussion, I am blessed to report that the Vested have authorized a premium stasis capsule for, your for you aboard the Church's Holy Fleet. Congratulations. Your generous donations over the years have already covered all, all post-mortem stasis and cryo-preservation fees. While I cannot guarantee which arc will safeguard your physical body, all fleet vessels are designed for centuries of deep space operation and equipped with state-of-the-art defense technology, ensuring that convergence will proceed without interference when the holy hour approaches. I must reiterate that this birth is conditional upon the successful completion of your pilgrimage. Once the marker is safely delivered into church's hands, all electronic records have been appropriately amended. I will be pleased to finalize your resting place amongst the church's most blessed, including Altman himself. Praise be the maker and his prophets. I like how it's like, oh yeah, we couldn't identify, but they freaking just l l let us know who it is. BB Trayman, or Trayman. Sanctified Messenger, Fleet Section and Security, Church of Unitology. All correspondence to and from this individual is monitored. Disclosure of any information in this message to heretical parties is strictly forbidden and will be punishable by seizure of property and or excommunication. Okay. Cool. That's what I want. All right. What about you? Okay. Credits. Another text log. Let's read this. Personal log. D. White, first officer. Goddamn unis are running the ship. So far, I know for sure. Captain Matthias. CSO Kine. 2SO Mercer. LD, LCDR Holt. Lieutenant Carrillo. Lieutenant... LTJ... What was... LT JG. What the fuck? Never heard of that one. Pitts and Reed, ENS Maynard, Shade, Espelada, Navidad. How many senior officers happen to be marker heads? It can't be a coincidence. I know a stack deck when I see one. Update. Check some files. A lot of those reassignments started after Director Eckhart got chatty with the captain. This one does a C suite. Give a damn about personnel. Say that again. Hold. Wait. Security card required. How do you got hold? Where's the Benson? Oh. Damn bathroom.
cannot determine clearance level. Must a security override required. Not sure why it's that scary, I guess. Oh. That's not creepy at all. Anything else? No, I guess not. Alright. Can't wait to be attacked by the hunter again. Chief Stewart's office. Surprised we don't see any of the like the actual like progression. Would have been kind of cool. Oh, there we go. All right, back to another safety save. If we can, we will. Yeah, how we are. Have anything that I can sell? No, still not. All right, so we should be fine. Cluster behind you. Not yet. Not, if, escape on that shuttle and you'll kill us all. When they took the marker from Aegis 7, it woke the being in the core of the planet. Oh. Huh. The hell is that? Mercer calls it the hive mind, the nexus organism which controls these necromorphs telepathically. If we leave while the hive mind is active, well, you saw the valor. If even a single necromorph escapes, humanity is finished. The marker. Emilia, she knew. She told me it would return the beast to its slumber. Okay, so if we return the marker to Aegis 7, It'll stop the outbreak? Exactly. But we need the shuttle to return it to the planet. You have a singularity core. And I can let you through. So what do you say? If it'll end this for good, deal. Excellent. I, I, I can distract Mercer, but not for long. And get the marker to the shuttle bay quickly. Yeah, I know. That's the plan. I, I just need to get in. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Fix my mistakes. 
At least he seems remorseful. Honestly, it saves me time. I like how the maintenance hall is like really just a box. Uh, what a quinky dink! He just disappears. Hmm. Strange, I think not. Right. Is it this one or this? One? I could technically get both if I want to. I could. Oh, but I also... Yeah, as you can tell, I've definitely missed, like, a bunch of them. <laughs> it's either I missed them or I've just, like, never... Like, I didn't find them. Or I didn't buy them. It's normally how it goes. Hmm. Uh, you know what? let's do this for now. Then you. Go. Holy shit, 19. Jesus Christ. Is the marker. Nice. Well, now we have the marker. This is totally not going to end well. This is totally going to end well. This is where the problems come and play. guy. Much appreciated. Okay. Oh my god, fucking my eyes actually hurt anytime that it does that weird fucking freaky shit. Oh god, it really, it really... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oosh. All right, dude. 
Yeah, you're dead, bro. Totally not desecrating your body. Rest in peace. There's so much shit here. I don't like where this is going, by the way. Not at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's so much shit to handle the hunter, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what we have to do. Okay. All right.
Okay. Hurry the fuck up. Ugh. Oh, come on. You bastard. Take it. Bring conversions. Make us whole. Oh, lovely. Shimura screaming. Critical damage to internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind, pilot the shuttle to the hangar. I'm going after the marker. Of course. Now you're quickly. Wait, Dr. Kine. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He says returning it to the planet is the only way to end this. We've got to try. I'm heading to cargo. You ping Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker, we're all getting out of here. <sighs> Six, man.